champion, Dan Fellows, and then we have the coach of Diego, Frederico Bolanos. So, Dan, do you have questions? Talk a little bit about the coffee. I want to ask a question which might be difficult to answer, <laughs> but what does this mean to you? Or should we finish with that? Mm. Tell me about the coffee. No, I mean... <laughs> Your choice. <laughs> I, I've been in the competition for many years. Being here in finals is kind of a, a dream for me. I've been fighting a lot to, to get even semi finals. I went to two world baristas, so every time I came, I come back crying to my home because I couldn't do it. And I watched the finals on TV, watched the champions drinking the espressos, and I say, I want to be there one day. You're here. And today is, is a day. You did a lot of people very proud. A dream yourself. comes out for me. I can tell you from my experience that the third time is always the best one. <laughs> I was also in, a, in the, before Amsterdam, I was in the, in the finals. I was in the, not finals, but in the World Baristas Championship twice. And the third one was the best one. So <laughs> maybe the story is repeating. <laughs> I agree. Absolutely. Yeah, it means a lot. I mean, coffee for me is everything I have. Coffee for me means my family, my wife, my daughter. And I do it because I, I really like it. I mean, I really love what I do. Because there's so many things to do. I mean, uh, so many hard work, so much time wasting on this. But uh, I do it because just I, I love what I feel when I present. There's a nervous always, but um, I think it's most, uh, I feel better when I do what I love. So you've been, uh, you've been this is your third time on the world stage, yeah, it's right? Third. It's third time. Uh, did you change anything on the practice? Uh, from what's back, this, what back is a different uh, preparation? Back to Colombia or uh, here? Uh, back, back in Colombia and in here. Like, did you change to make you like you finally be in the finals? <laughs> uh, first, a lot of love, passion. Uh, finding a very good coffee and kind of try to enjoy the experience. And uh, try to make the judges feel comfortable. They enjoy the coffee and they enjoy the experience. Like why we create the experience on the espresso. We wanted to do it with the whole courses. But I think espresso is um, like the most strongest one. And um, I think it's the drink that we most enjoy the most. I think um, we're lucky to have these in front of us and be able to see this. Do you want to tell us a little bit about how you elevated, particularly the espresso, of course, <laughs> like physically and metaphorically? I yeah, yeah. This, I mean, in, uh, in Colombia, back in Colombia, there is a, a scientist that are working with the uh, FNC, which is the National Coffee Federation. And they are developing a videos and kind of in, in investigation about the sounds and uh, what you see. It can influence the way you um, taste the coffee or taste the, the food. Basically, around the world, there's so many restaurants doing the same exercise with food, so they kind of have their different experience on different dishes. And uh, yeah, that's why we based on that. And uh, we, because we have coffee, which is really nice by itself, but we wanted to complement it with, with a little bit more. I'm excited to try the coffee. Sure. Should we um, <laughs> talk excited. to Federico? I'm Should we talk to, to Federico? Try the music. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you want to brew maybe, maybe Do we hear two a salsa drinks in there? possible? Will it play? <laughs> <laughs> Should we chat oh, to I, Federico? I yeah, we play you? a salsa. It, 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 salsa. <laughs> no. I thought it's Federico talking. <laughs> Your soothing tones. So, Federico, talk to us. How do you feel? Um, I just like feel he, really. He was really also crying. So. I, know. <laughs> um, I just feel really, really proud of Diego. Um, I, for me, working with uh, someone as professional as Diego and as with his commitment is just a privilege. And I, I honestly feel fortunate to have uh, met him and uh, to have part of his team and to collaborate with him in this project. So yeah, I'm curious. How were the challenges of distance? managed? Did you do a, a bit more online? Were you able to meet in person? Uh, yes, actually, uh, uh, <laughs> it's funny that you mentioned because this year was really, really challenging. Uh, we had to work most, if not everything, online. Uh, so we had to work uh, double uh, and just, uh, you know, with all the limitations that doing it through video uh, presents. So I think that shows extra uh, his talent and his passion for this sport. Yeah, I think it's incredible. The visual presentation is awesome. So the, the tablet screen, grab the sphere with your left hand and feel the texture and form. And then we had the sound. Yes. Do you know what was playing? Uh, yes, I, I, w I want to compliment something uh, Diego says because you should uh, definitely try it. Yeah. Uh, what we investigated and researched is that there is something called sonic seasoning 
uh, which is scientifically uh, proven to ha help you uh, elevate your senses and just complement what you're uh, eating or drinking. So this plus the, the video, which is also comes from um, research from laboratories and from universities, all this is to take the, the drink to a whole new level, like Diego mentioned in his speech. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very excited to try. Yeah. So the coffee, uh, the taste notes we've got here, brown sugar, cacao nibs, passion fruit, papaya, tangerine, malt. I'm excited to try this. Do you want to briefly introduce the coffee and then we can Yeah, I wanted, have to, a ask, I wanted to ask Diego why, yeah. why he actually decided to choose that one, that coffee. What's so special about it? Like for him, I, I'm not surprised it's from Colombia. <laughs> that is not a, that surprising. I mean, uh, we choose this coffee because it's, really, it's really sweet. It's really balanced, and that's what we look for in espresso. So it's, it's, it's kind of fun to, to brew this coffee as espresso because it's too much sweetness, and uh, we wanted to balance the sweetness with a little bit of acidity and a bit of bitterness. If and we put um, headphones on and play, we'll and get I think the experience. Yeah, Second. yeah, yeah true. We, we will. Probably. Nice. Yeah. Shall so we, we bring back the, the setup for espresso? Federico, have you tried this in person yeah. with the full experience? Yeah. You have. Just pretend you have the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Just feel the spirit. I should probably commentate on what's happening here because this isn't great to watch. So we have very soothing music playing, keep smelling and tasting. At the same time, we'd be feeling the sphere and talking about the tactile sensation, thinking about that. Yep. Round and heavy body, silky and slippery texture, long lasting finish, which I firmly agree with. <laughs> Definitely. I must say it's uh, super sweet. Yeah, yeah it is. Like, I was thinking, like, did he sugar it? Mm. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah, it's very, it's very, very good coffee. That's the best no part. No yeah. whatsoever. And uh, the tact experience is just really good. It's brown sugar, definitely. Brown yeah. eggs, passion fruit. It's um, amazing coffee. Really did you, uh, did you uh, approach a roasting in a different way or brewing? Like, or it was a challenge to roast this coffee. I roast this coffee with my friend Walter Acevedo. He's a, our roaster. And uh, we do a lot of uh, taste. So that was, that was crazy. That was really it's crazy. Delicious. We roast the coffee it's in so, uh, so many different ways. Because it's, it's, a, it's a really dense bean, so we need to find a, the good way good, to good roast the coffee. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, and then, and the, idea for the idea for the signature beverage, uh, where did you get it from? Like, how did you experiment with it? Uh, I mean, uh, I love tropical fruits, and I found a coffee with a lot of tropical fruits. So yeah. in Colombia, back in Colombia, we have so many fruits, and uh, we wanted to complement that with uh, and uh, I also enjoy drinking the mucilage. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a farmer, so uh, I'm really connected with the things at the farm. So I'm uh, having the mucilage as well. And uh, I really love the cold brew. That's why yeah. I have a cold brew here. I think this cold brew is my favorite one. Oh, <laughs> it's the course, favorite ingredient. Of <laughs> the magic ingredient. You know, your favorite <laughs> thing is always the magic ingredient. <laughs> yeah, it is. I can still taste that espresso. Yeah. It's yeah. like. It, it will like be there for a while. Yeah. It'll be there for <laughs> it's a while. It's incredible. Yeah. So complex. It's got like a kind of spice coming through now, which was not there to begin with at all, but really juicy, sweet. Kind of like I've had a really good glass of orange juice. Yeah, you, you know, those are the type of coffees you're not able to drink every day, but no. you definitely remember them for a long <laughs> period of time. This is pretty memorable. Yeah, that's yeah. True. This is memorable. It's incredible. So, texture of your signature drink, how did you approach the texture? Because obviously you had uh, some... I'm using the mucilage. Yeah. Which is uh, kind of, have a kind of texture, because we did use it with, uh, with heat. Yeah, so it's kind of um, I don't know how to explain that. Like, like yeah, it's more intense. Mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, jammy. It's really dense. Yeah, and it's really jammy as well. Amazing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So uh, this is interesting because I've never interviewed my. <laughs> <laughs> so my tell me about barista. your coach. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, how was how was working I mean, with Federico? Because <laughs> I can believe that he might be demanding. Been <laughs> here already coaching a few people. Uh, no, so I, I wanted to I ask think. Diego, what was different? past years to this year in terms of uh, your performance here on stage? Wow, I mean, um, so many things to carry. <laughs> so I have to bring out a um, much better coffee 
a, a company of Federico. Working with him uh, makes me understand so many things that I didn't uh, count with. And, um, yeah, he's been great working with him. I think he has a lot of experience the things we should do in here and what you, we shouldn't do. Yeah. So that's important to know. I have you definitely did him proud. I have one question. Like you said that you're growing at 91 degrees Celsius, right? Yep. Yeah. What is the reason? Like it's pretty low for most of the competition coffees. I mean, we try with the, with different temperatures and yeah. we found the best expression of the coffee with 91. In back in Colombia, we try always with 90. Yeah. But because we are higher than in here, so yeah. but in yeah. here we use 91. Okay. Which is it's incredibly well balanced. Yeah, really delicious. It is, it is, it is. We're just going to move us to Bart in the green room. He has a question that's come in from it's online. A black room. It's a black room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yes, uh, Diego. So. Um, if people are watching online, they can still ask.